morning, day 18. Um, what time is it? Five, six? Six fifteen. Six fifteen in the morning. Just got up. Spent the night at Grand Harbor Marina and Resort. Never again! Not good. No Wi-Fi. Haven't been able to. Wi-Fi lasts about seven seconds and then kicks out all night long. No cell service. There's a there is a cell tower literally a quarter of a mile from here, right down there. It's all AT and T. Verizon gets no cell service. No cell service. Called the marina office five times last night to try to get them to fix the internet. No internet. The marina office is a half a mile walk from our transient slip. There are no bathrooms within a half a mile walk of us. Well, they didn't even tell us. No showers walk. within a half a mile walk of us. No laundry facilities on At all. premise. And this is like a premier resort. Not good. Slept okay, but the people here on Bark Lake I showed you last night no respect for no wake or not Barkley Lake, Pickwick Lake no respect for no wake zones I mean we were rocking and rolling until 8.30 at night just till it was too dark for boats to be safely out so we slept okay but yeah it was a shit show so hopefully today I'm going to be able to upload two videos and uh, we're going to get get going here early, got to do engine checks and get everything going. So we'll talk to you when we get going. So good morning, everyone. Uh, we are underway at 6.36. Uh, heading south today, hopefully getting to a better marina. Look at this sunrise in my rear view camera. Wow, beautiful. So we're... Um, uh, now going down river, we're going down the Tim Bo T Tom Bigby, and the markers have reverse sides. So red's now on our left, green is will be on our right, and we are going to get a pickup in our mileage. Uh, we got a down river current, so that'll be great. Um, beautiful morning, a little bit chilly out, but beautiful morning. Got another yacht coming at us here this morning. We'll see if they're going to go down the top big B2. If not, we'll be going down by ourselves. All right, we'll talk to you a little bit later. I mean, sun's not to our back. It won't go. Okay, guess what, everyone? Yeah! Woo! We hit 100 subscribers. That's very cool. <laughs> That's this morning on That's, day 18. Yes, our daughter Ashley informed us. She just texted us and said, Wow, you guys have 100 subscribers. So thanks for letting us know, Ash. That's um, awesome. It is awesome, exciting, but in reality, it's, it's not a big it's deal. Nothing. It's <laughs> not a big deal. We're not like social media hounds. So. No, and we're not trying to be. And we're not trying to be. So anyway, that's cool. At least, you know, if 50 of those 100 actually enjoy the videos, that's great. But thank you, everybody who subscribed. Yeah. That's awesome. I wanted to give a shout out to my OB peeps um, got a little Facebook message that they were watching videos last night so it must have been a slow night so thanks for watching guys miss you all she doesn't miss you that much yes I do I don't miss the work but I miss you guys all right <laughs> talk to y'all later bye so you can see behind us kind of a big body of water it's part of the Pickwick Lake system we are now on the Tennessee Tom Bigby the Tom Bigby waterway um, just got on it and the majority of today now remember the Tom Bigby waterway uh, connects the Tennessee River um, and goes all the way down to Mobile Alabama and empties into the Gulf and this is a the Tom Bigby is a combination of lakes man-made canals and river systems that are all interconnected that lead you down to Mobile. 
So I just wanted to show you this morning what a lot of the Tennessee Tom, or of the Tom Bigby waterway looks like um, as we get going. It is long, straight, and very obviously man-made. So rock line shores, and I think this is a six mile straight, just a straight shot, and then it does some curving, but. And, this, and I'm reading right now that this, I'm reading right now that this uh, opened up in 1985, so it's not that old. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there it is, we are on what I consider the final leg down to Mobile, so that's pretty cool, a lot of the inland water systems. Um, so that's what our morning looks like. Well, oh, and I'm trying to get our damn YouTube video loaded this morning because we had shit internet last night, so uh, hopefully you'll see that in a little bit. All right, bye. Yep, so this is the Tom Bigby Waterway. Again, like I said, it's almost a lot of this is going to be man-made and just very straight on. Kind of looks like Chain of Rocks uh, cut by St. Louis when we went through there. So, But it's super calm. We're going about 8.7 to 8.9 miles an hour. It's been vacillating. So um, that's good. Uh, everything else looks great. And it uh, should be a smooth day of boating to the next marina. Hopefully we have better experience at the next marina than we did at this past one so all right not sure exactly what these are some sort of breakwater for streams to keep the water from probably rushing in too hard it's the second or third one we've seen on the on the tom bigby waterway so far But very quiet, very calm. Just moving along about eight and a half to nine miles an hour. Not much of a current on this though. I thought there would be more current going down river with us, so. But we're uh, doing real well on uh, fuel economy. Going about three miles to the gallon. Going about 14 miles so far this morning, so yeah. Otherwise, going pretty good. So it's about 9.15. We've been on the river for about two hours and 40 minutes or so. Still on the Tom Bigby. Kind of a straight canal. A couple of little curves in it. Some fishermen out here. Otherwise, uh, it's just a very quiet morning of boating. We're going about almost nine miles an hour. There's a little bit of a current. Um, so, yeah, we're getting a little bit of a push. So the trip going good today. We're two games into cribbage. I had a 23 point hand to squeak out a win at the very end against Heather and she just crushed me in a game. So I think the score now is 10-9 since we reset. So I'm still in the lead, but I don't know for how long. It's crap. I should have won the first game. Did we experience marital bliss this morning? With cribbage? No. Um, On the boat? No. We did not have marital bliss this morning. What happened this morning? Um, you told me to watch for the docks. What's the first thing that happened? I said whoa. No, you Because I was getting tangled up in the electric cord. She didn't say whoa. I did too. I said whoa, you whoa. Said, yes, you said whoa. That's the word you said. That's not the emotion and tone yes, I you did. can be. I said, whoa, whoa. I didn't go, whoa. I had my headphones on. We had our marriage had savers on. on and I'm not particularly, I wasn't watching what she was doing, and I hear, whoa, whoa. I didn't say in my, Yes, that's exactly what I heard. And I don't have the volume turned up. So then I'm thinking she's in trouble. And I look around, and she's just putzing with the cord and blah. And so then I said, you can't say that because I'm thinking you're in some serious trouble and I'm gonna come running. Just steering the boat. 
And then, so that didn't start off great. And then he wanted me to wipe, take some towels and wipe down the windows outside. And then I used it was the wrong really towels. Wet. Not the wrong towels. You used old. You were going to use old towels that probably had dirt and grime on them, and then you were going to wipe them on the window where and it was I all wet. Other towels that come back in the boat. Grab more towels, and then we're leaving the dock, and he goes in the earphones and the marriage savers. Watch the docks, plural. So I'm looking at the port side dock because I know on the starboard side it's completely clear. And then he goes, turn around and look at the other dock. I'm That's like, not how I said it. I don't know why we have such perception problems. That is not how I said it. That's I don't. That's how I heard it. I don't squeak a little voice like that. That's not how I say it. Oh my god. Well, it still irritated me this morning. Oh my god, it was mutual. Are we better now? For sure. For sure, better now. Even though you beat me in cribbage. Well, no, you beat me in cribbage. Overall score 10-9, but today 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one so far today. Yeah, so it's not all fun and games on the boat, especially in the morning. I went to bed crabby last night because yeah, of the... Yeah, just because the Wi-Fi wasn't No, working. it wasn't the Wi-Fi. Hang on, i got to steer again. It wasn't just the Wi-Fi. The marina, I mean, the facility was okay, but we didn't have showers. There were no toilets so we closed. Take by. On the boat. We took showers on the boat. Yeah, we took showers on the boat. But uh, it's just so I went to bed crabby, and I didn't wake up yeah, happy. Still was crabby waking up. So anyway, it's all copacetic now. It's all good, and uh, we'll be to the. Witten Lock, which is a lock that we've heard horror stories about. I guess they have to go up 85 feet. Yeah, it's a tall lock, but the lock master, the guy that runs this lock, has made boats wait for hours and hours, and I guess he's not very nice. So the technique that we heard was we're going to put Heather on the radio, so hopefully he'll be nice because there's a woman talking to him. We'll see. Uh, she, I'm going to make her be super nice. She's going to have to, you know, put on her southern charm. <laughs> can you be a southern belle for yeah, him? I can't. Don't have the accent. So hopefully we can get through this lock without too much trouble. But uh, we'll show the lock. I'll try to film the 85-foot raise, or the 85-foot drop. It's an 85-foot drop today. Oh, that's right. We're yeah, because we're going down river now. So, all right, uh, more later. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. So we've left the canal. It's about 10 o'clock. We're in Bay Springs Lake, Tennessee. No, Mississippi. Mississippi. Bay Springs Lake, Mississippi. Um, so the Jamie Witten Lock is the one that's damming up the river for this lake. That's the one we have to get through. So pretty big lake. Um, I'll show you on my on my. GPS map or my Navionics. So the scale is about a half a mile, so it's probably, I don't know, 10 miles long. Um, we're going all the way up there to the next lock and dam. So, yeah, not too much traffic out here, just uh, fishing boats this morning. So, should be a smooth ride. 85 foot drop. 85 foot drop. So we're tied on and uh, this is the Witten Lock and Dam. I'll show you more as we drop here. That uh, should be a good ride. So we are way down. Like, I don't know, 55, 60 feet already. And we're still going down. What's interesting though is on the back, They've got a concrete wall. The doors only are the top 25, 30 feet maybe, and then it's a concrete wall. Um, you know, I guess they don't need 85 foot doors, but holy crap, this thing is going down a long way. Well, 
We are still going down. That is a really tall lock. Sorry, my finger is in the way. That is a really tall lock. Unbelievable. Ah, it's getting soaked. Yeah, it's uh, it's all of 85 feet. It's incredibly tall. Yeah, that was all of 85 feet for sure. We are so low that I don't, I can't even get GPS signal. Holy cow. That's the tallest lock we've ever been through. Very cool, Jamie Witten. The water is literally dead calm. There is not an ounce of breeze out here. We're below uh, Witten Dam and headed south. We've got about five miles to the next lock. Um, yeah, so it's just a hot one and no breeze so that makes it kind of miserable and if there is a breeze it's a little bit to our back and so we're going 8.7 miles an hour and so there's no breeze for us uh, we'll talk to you a little bit more so we're at the second lock of the day and we're just coming up on it this is the montgomery lock and dam and heather's just getting all the bumpers ready this is only about a 30 foot drop. It was only four and a half miles from the Witten Lock. So very, uh, just a little tiny body of water, not much to show. Literally took us about 15 minutes to get here. Um, so maybe 25, 20 minutes to get here. Um, so we'll get through this lock quick. That's number two of three for the day. And uh, then we'll get into the marina. So uh, we are about four miles south of the last lock um, and we are about four miles north of the next lock. And so the three locks that we had today are in really quick succession. They are about anywhere from five to eight miles apart. And then the Tom Bigby waterway just kind of opens up into this small, these small really kind of narrow lakes. You can see the the channel that we're following. Oh, there's my finger. Right down the center of that, and there's really just very shallow water all the way around. There are some lake homes on here. It's a nice, quiet area, but just one six mile kind of widening of the waterway going down south will be the next lock in about 30 minutes. They're doing a sailboat north and then we'll go south. Yes? What is up? It's been busy the last couple hours doing locks. Gone through two locks. We did the biggest lock of the Great Loop. Yep, and it was easy. It was easy. I mean, we, we, were for, we heard rumors that the lock master up there is not nice. I don't know if we had a different one or just that we were nice to him and he was nice back. I Heather was on the radio. Yeah. Heather called on the phone first. No, I called on the radio and he wouldn't yeah. answer and then I called the phone. And he, he was very pleasant, very F nice guy. Yep, very nice guy. Female voice helps. And, um, yeah, it was a long, maybe he dropped 85, 85, 85 uh, feet. There was a long time out there, uh, but... It was slick. Yep. So yep. I'm glad that we were all done with that because now every lock after this is Easy. nothing. Right. We're doing 30 footers now. So now compared to back home, that's at, at its highest, you know, almost three times bigger than bigger drop than we do back up where we were in, on the Mississippi. But yeah, it's all good. We haven't had any time to play cribbage. We haven't played any cribbage. We could probably get one game in here. I'm gonna try to get one game in and win really fast. That'll make me feel good for the day. And then uh, we should be to the marina, I would think by about two. We'll show you what the marina looks like. We're gonna maybe do some laundry tonight. Um, I definitely wanna shave. I do too, I hope they show us where 
showers are. I'm asking this time. Yes, but I just hope it's not like half I, a mile away. Oh, I'm, the last one was at least a half mile away. We weren't walking that long. I didn't need to shave that bad. All right. Anything else good? Cheese and crackers for lunch today. We cut up uh, summer sausage, garlic summer sausage. That was good. Better than uh, ham and cheese sandwiches. So, what are you gonna do? What do we wanna do for dinner tonight? They supposedly have a restaurant on site. We'll see if that's yeah. true. We'll look at the menu and we'll just go from there. Sounds good. All right. Well, we'll get through this last lock, and then we're four miles away from the marina, about a half hour. And at this current speed, which is fine by me, uh, we've been going. Uh, let's see here. I'm just looking. Um, we've been boating six hours so far. We've been burning about three gallons per hour, so about 18 gallons. Uh, we've gone f almost 49 miles. So getting 2.7 miles to the gallon which is good you know the couple that we were talking to last night Kathy and Jeff yes. they're great loopers I showed you their boat serendipity at their best speed they get one mile to the gallon now they have a 60 foot Chris craft and they hold 900 gallons so they can still go up a thousand miles but they're doing one mile to the gallon at their best cruise and we're at this Pace, we're doing almost three gallons, three miles to the gallon. So uh, we're fortunate that way. All right, that's about it for now. We'll check in with you later at the marina. So we got into the marina here at Fulton, Mississippi. This is called Midway Marina. We got a stump field right next to it, but plenty of water, about seven feet deep all the way in. And uh, hey, how are you? Any day on the water is a great day. Great day. So we're not too shabby. It's tied up against their transient slip, which is good by us, since uh, a little concerning how wide the slips were. We have a nice little uh, ship store. That building up there is showers, laundry, and I don't know why it's not coming in. Laundry, and there is a restaurant there, but it's closed on Sunday and Mondays. So kind of got somebody's liveaboard plant boat i don't know what that is but yeah uh so everything's good we're all checked in and uh we'll post this video today and uh, uh get that up so tomorrow is on to columbus mississippi talk to y'all later